I loathe to use Elaine, the be force careful. this way. This one is no pushover. We should probably be able to distract it. On my signal, send some electricity on a pylon. I will commend your soul to the gods. A prayer for your wayward soul. Celine, call some thunder on a pylon now.
direct hit to its cooling system. She's gonna explode, Celine. Don't stay anywhere near her. this? Thieves again? Oh no, even better. Lackeys from the Sanctorium. Uh, no, Draren. Please don't do this. Hey, do what? You mean shower them with bullets? Pulverize them? Bang, bang, you're dead? Because that's exactly what we were told to do. Wait, we're not here to start anything. We... we were told to guard the city gates. D D Draren? Not to... to shoot everyone on... Too late. My gun's already warmed up, and it would be a waste of energy not to fire it now. You really are a piece of work. But I guess no one will cry over the death of a Sanctorian priestess and her bodyguard. Wait, guys, we're here to speak to Tyrannus. Everyone wants to speak to Tyrannus. Get in line, fool. No, actually, stand where you are. It'll be easier to shoot you. Crater, lend me your strength.
Stop this at once. Why are you stopping us, Tyrannus? Can't you see we're busy? Draren, I don't want to repeat myself. Come on, Tyrannus! The only thing I can do around camp is guard duty. You're basically stealing my job here. Believe me, Draren. Once I'm finished with our guests, I'll be dealing with you. Sheesh. I'm in for it now. Your men are a little trigger-happy. Tell me about it. We try to find a job for every orphan and refugee who seek shelter here, but it's proving more complicated than our most challenging research. Alpharius sent us. I figured as much. Come with me. Welcome to Tyr Kalem. So, you came for Isor Isoris? The Resurgent. You'll find him in the scrapyard. In... the scrapyard? Yes, you'll see. He's not hard to find. Wait a second. There's a Resurgent in Tyrkalem, and you're telling me he's rusting at the bottom of a scrapyard? I don't know what Altharius told you. Yes, Isoris is a Resurgent, and yes, he shows every sign of remission from the corrosion. But his cure is... was... I don't know. A stroke of luck? A fluke? I don't know. We have spent months studying him, and we can't find anything useful. For all we know, the corrosion simply... ceased affecting him. We couldn't synthesize a cure because there was nothing we could find. And if we here in Tyr Kalem came up short... I doubt your people in the Sanctorium could do better. No offense taken. And don't listen to his blabber. He'll make you run around in circles for his own entertainment. Sounds like the Cesaurus is quite a handful. Be careful around him. We're speaking of someone who has known unspeakable torments, which has left him... diminished. I suspect a part of him wishes to make the rest of the world suffer the way he has. We'll be careful. Thanks for everything, Tyrannus. He's not a bad man, Priestess. Please remember that.
Mm, well, of course. Just wait for his Saurus to start his recharging process. That's the perfect time for introductions. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> well, I'll give you a few seconds. No, really, take a good look. Do you see the sweat dripping off my forehead from the pain? The wires entering sensitive parts of my body. The literal dump I'm living in. My sad, sordid excuse for a body. The sarcasm I use in a desperate attempt to hide my pain and embarrassment. <laughs> I'll give you a few seconds to process all of that. Take your time. I... I don't... Now. I think you can answer your own question. Does this man look okay? I, I'm sorry, we were not expecting this. Uh, maybe we'll step outside a moment until you're done. Recharging? That would be advisable. We just see. I have no idea. Whatever it was, it just redefined my idea of awkward. The corrosion hasn't affected my hearing, you know. So, what are you here for? I imagine it's not to admire the view. We'll be blunt, we're here because of the corrosion. Our mother's sick and we want to find a cure for her. And everyone else, if possible. Oh, the corrosion, huh? Hmm. Sounds serious. And we've been told that you were cured and... That I... That I've been... What? Cured? <laughs> Ah, oh, that's a good one. Hey, what are you laughing about? And you just took their word for it? Just like that? <laughs> I'll be darned. One day you start wearing prosthetics, and people start spreading rumors you found a cure for the corrosion. Ah, oh, what can I say? You pay too much attention to idle gossip. So you're saying that despite the stigmas you're trying to hide under your prosthetics, you never actually caught the corrosion? Oh, you spotted that, huh? Well, now that you put it that way, it depends. Depends on what? So, assuming I did recover from the corrosion, then you'll want to know my secret, right? Hmm, and that's quite valuable information. If I tell you I didn't, you will just leave me here to rust. That's one way of putting it. After all, you came all the way here from, oh, I don't know, some backwater village like Jagholm or Elon to find a cure for your beloved mother, a father, or a cat, or a hamster. It would be stupid of me to not take advantage of your naivety. So, I'll tell you what I want in exchange. I want a heart. A heart? What do you mean? Not a pulsing human heart, I admit, but a heart. Nonetheless, it's a rather complicated device to be delicately inserted into my still very sensitive chest to control many of the bodily functions my own body cannot see to. You're not making any sense! What does it look like? I don't know what it looks like. Do you think I would still be rotting here if I did? You know what? I don't think you actually know anything. Even if you were a genuine survivor of the corrosion, you wouldn't actually be able to tell us how you were cured. Look at all these bottles! It's a surprise you're making any sense at all! I need those to numb the pain. Come on, Celine, let's go. This guy's a joke. We'll find another way. Oh, I'm a joke, huh? Is that it? You really want to know what the heart looks like? It's a small, black monolith. 
It's down in the scrapyard. Get it for me, and I'll tell you everything I know. No heart, no cure, and your mother will die. And I couldn't care less if you don't believe me. I didn't ask you to come. You just barged in here. Now get out. I will find you a heart, Sir Isoris. I promise you. Keep your pity to yourself. Celine, I really think... He knows, Darian. His stigmas are real. <laughs> so that's what you were looking at while he was naked? I don't know why he's trying to throw us off. But one thing is certain. He has the information we need. And that's worth something. Okay, then let's find this monolith. So we're at the bottom of the scrapyard. We should look around for the monolith. Hmm. Could it be... this? What? To the best of our knowledge, the whereabouts of the third fragment remains a mystery. What is this? As the investigations pro, we have to assume that Rhiannon has safely carried out his plans and... Warning. Warning. Unauthorized recipient identified. Message confidentiality compromised. Beginning termination protocol. So, what? I won't back down!
Oh no, no, you're all over the place. You? What are you doing here? Saving you from certain death. I just need to get close to the monolith. You lot deal with the rest. Okay. Oh, so we're trusting him now? Don't worry, I got this! Jamming skills, you could try to damage it yourself. We need those walls for cover. Let's act.
feeling about this. Let's take the... What happened? What happened is, I'm out of juice. Juice? You asked what a heart is. A heart is a battery that can power my prosthetics long enough not to crumple to the ground every few hours. That's what it is. I depleted all my energy during the fight. Now I've got to get back on my chair and recharge for two hours before I can walk again. Until the next time I recharge in another 20 hours. Go on, you can point and laugh now. So, that's why you need a heart? Yes. 
Why didn't you start with that? We could have taken you a bit more seriously. I tried to tell you, but you cut me off before I could explain. Well, you didn't really encourage conversation. And I'm not even talking about the fact that you tried to get us killed. The worst thing is the monolith isn't a unit battery. This was just a trap. I just wanted you to be maimed or die a horribly painful death. What? Just put yourself in my place for a second. You barge into my home, if you can call it a home, and you ask for everything I know about the corrosion, just like all the others. And like everyone else, you wouldn't even believe me if I told you everything that had happened, and... And by the way, you weren't so friendly either. Name's Darian. Well, Darian, I'm sorry for trying to get you killed. That wasn't fair play. Will sorry suffice, or shall I drown myself in that puddle of oil over there in remorse? What says the priestess? Priestess? Selene. So, the monolith can't recharge you. Is that it? Nope. Serves me right, huh? I didn't realize the situation you were in. Nobody does. Don't worry about it. Say, will you help me get back to my place? It will take me five days to drag myself back with my remaining arm. Okay. We'll haul you back. <sighs> I think I... Broke my power outlet. I'll need Taranis' help. I'll go get her. I found something. It's not the heart you wanted, but... It's... my locket. I thought I had lost it forever. How did you know? How did you find it? By relinquishing my last shred of dignity, as well as my fear of pointy objects. <coughs> it's not what you asked for. But I think it might be important to you. No, I never thought I'd miss it so much. I cannot truly understand what you're going through, Sir Isoris. But I can tell you this. Things will get better. For you. And for everyone. Believe me. And I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I could really do without rusty joints right now. Fighting the tears back, fighting the tears, sucking them back into my eye sockets. There. You win, Priestess Selene. I'll tell you everything I know, but it won't do you any good. Why? You need a guy to take you where you need to go. Someone who doesn't fear the corrosion. Making a fool of yourself again, Yosaurus. Taranis, save me the lecture. I've decided to help them. I'm not talking about that. It's how you couldn't find a battery if it bit you in the ankle. Very funny. You just dismantled a monolith, which was generating a dangerous amount of energy. And where do you think the monolith got all its energy? From a... a battery. Exactly. There's enough energy in this little gizmo for you to live a hundred frivolous lives without powering off. So we just went back and got it. Does this mean... Yes, Ysaurus. You're going to walk again and be free. You won't have to spend the rest of your life in this rat hole. I... Xerdux? Xerdux? I'll get everything ready. So, it's settled then. You gave me back my life. Or what's left of it. So in return, it only seems fair that I devote what's left of me to your cause. Meaning... what? That we have to find a third bedroll and an extra ration pack because we're all going to Avarice together. Whoa, slow down. You sent us off to our merry deaths just a few moments ago. And I saved you afterwards. So, that makes us even. Why do you want to come with us? I don't know, a uh, misplaced sense of gratitude, perhaps? Nuh-uh. I don't believe that. The real reason is that I need to get back to the cure. I need another miracle. 
But my motivations are irrelevant. You need me. Why? Because I'm the only one who can guide you through the dark places you must go if you want to cure your dear mother. And when it comes to the corrosion itself, hmm, I'm the most knowledgeable man in the world. We don't just want to save our mother. We want to save everyone. Of course, and you will, but you need me for that. I don't know if I have the strength to trust another stranger again so easily. What was that? How's this for a plan? Let's all go to Herelsor, where we can kill two birds with one stone. We'll arrange your trip to Avaris, and I'll tell you everything I know about the cure. Then you can decide if it's worth keeping me or not. Again, why not tell us now? Because talking makes me thirsty, and Tyrkalem's wine tastes like engine oil. This is my last condition for helping you, and it's not negotiable. I'm afraid I may have unleashed a monster upon the world. Yes, but a grateful monster. <laughs>